Hello everybody and welcome to your next SFML platformer tutorial. So uh, this tutorial we're just going to be um, looking over a few stuff and like um, improving our, our and like optimizing our code. Okay so first of all um, my screen size is set to 640 by I mean my screen size is set to 800 by 600. I don't know if yours is different. Uh, but if you notice, uh, my I'm not sure if it's that obvious, but my images are 640 by 480, and I will show you. I'll pause the video and show you in just a second. Okay, so if we uh, let me just click the properties, and so if we notice that my image dimension is 640 by 480, but I want uh, my image to cover the whole screen. So how is that going to work? Well, that's going to need to work with the scale. And what we're going to so what we're going to do is we're going to open up animation.h and we're going to add in a new float value um called scale. And um we're going to want each the, the class to be able to modify and get scale, right? Uh, but before you can continue with the scale value, what we're going to do is we're going to create a template function and or method, whatever you like to call it. And um, the reason being for this is that we, cause we're going to be using we're going to be using a lot of get and set methods. Right. And um, that's fine doing a lot of get and set methods, but we don't need to do that. That's not necessarily necessary uh, that we actually do that. What we could do is just make a template of a function and then therefore we can make um, a set function that can that's universal and all we have to do is just make get functions and then that's all we need to make so it gives us a little bit less work that we need to do uh, so if you haven't uh, used templates before basically a template is a generic type so it's not uh, it's not for any specific type any type can go into it with, with, depending on how you do it and I'm not gonna be going in depth uh, in depth on how uh, templates work. So if you wanna learn more about it, then you can search it up. So I'm gonna do say um template um name t. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say just set value. Uh, so it's gonna be t variable, and it's gonna be ampersand variable. Cause we're gonna wanna modify the variable, and we'll have another one called um value. Uh, you more times than none, the value and the variable type are going to be the exact same, right? Because you're not going to assign a boolean to a float value, so that's why we have both of them equal to t. Okay. Uh, so what we got to do now is that uh, since we're these are set to ampersand, what we got to do now is that all our get methods make sure you add an ampersand at the end of it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say another ampersand. We're going to say gets. Um, we're gonna say get active and we're gonna have one for uh, get scale okay and make sure they have the ampersands there and then we can get rid of set active right now and what we're gonna do is uh, well we'll specify the stuff that we just declared so the get active and the get scale All right, so void animation void and animation get active and we just return out active and void and animation get scale oh no it shouldn't even be void sorry it should be float and this one should be bool sorry for that and then we return scale okay so uh, I believe that get active should be boolean okay so for set value the thing about templates is that they have to be initialized on um, demand right uh, so we can initialize um, we can't initialize it here and then um, create the function in there we have to do all the functions functionality in our a header file okay so it kind of destroys the structure of the code kind of but uh, it's simple so all we're going to be saying is just variable is equal to value simple enough just like that okay uh, so what we're going to do now is 
uh, just put an ampersand there. Uh, so uh, f when we called, if we go to our screen manager class, let's go to screen manager at CPP, and what we had set active, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say fade dot set value, and we'll say fade dot get active, and then we'll set the value. Wait, what was the value? I didn't even take it in. It was equal to false. So we'll set it to false. So immediately, so this is generic. So I can use this for get active. I could change the value of active, alpha, anything I need to do. All I need to specify is a variable I'm trying to refer to and then uh, what it's returning. Now the reason why we had to make it ampersand over here is that because we we're going to be changing whichever values in here. So therefore, that's why we put the ampersand in there. Uh, so for right here, so set active is equal to true. So all we have to do is just say set value. Uh, fade dot get active and just set to true okay so that's a neat little way to do it it's up to you if you want to do this method or not but um, it, it helps out now as for animation before I even continue throughout um, the other stuff that we were talking about about the scale and stuff for the animation uh, change it to ampersand image so we get a reference of the image uh, the image type in SFML is not lightweight it's very heavyweight and so we don't want to have to pass in the whole image we just want to be able to pass in the reference to the image uh, so it, it speeds up the program um, a bit faster that way uh, so we got to change that in the fade animation uh, dot H and we got to change that in uh, in the animation uh, class as well so let's go to fade animation dot H and put the ampersand there so now let's get back to the scale. So uh, if I open up my calculator right here, we need to find out the scale, the value that we have to scale it by to get to 180. So if we say 640, no, it's my bad. Wrong way. So if I do 800, my screen width divided by the image's width, I, I will get the value 1.25. And my screen's width is 600 divided by uh, my image's width for 80 is equal to 125. So therefore, I just have to scale the x and y value by 125 to make it fit the whole screen. Uh, so what we're going to do now is in our animation draw command, that's when we got to um, specify some stuff. Uh, so right now, if we were to modify the sprite's position or anything, and it, it wouldn't actually change it. Uh, because we don't actually modify it um, all together. All we modify is the color. And we had this in the update function, but we want to take this away from the update function. Uh, the reason being is that um, when you transition from another screen, it stops updating, but it still shows the screen when it's loading in. So if we need to update something as soon as the screen comes on, it's not gonna it's not gonna work properly, right? Uh, so everything that's related to drawing uh, the commands, sorry. Uh, everything that's related to drawing, we just have to uh, move it to the to the draw command. So to draw a method. So there's a lot of things that we got to set. So we got to say set position and the position that we set. So in case the position we specify. So in case we change that, uh, we got to set the scale, and we'll set it for both x and y. And you can have separate scales for x and y. Uh, you can do like a vector 2f or something if you like to do that, but um, that's fine. Uh, it's, it's really up to you. And um, for now, so we can say set subrect if we wanted, and I think it was called source rect. So we could do that. Um, I'm not sure if we set if we set the default value for source rect. We actually don't, so I'm not even gonna add that in right now. Uh, but it, it will set the scale and the position every single time that we we call the draw command so uh, Yeah, whenever we call to it whether it be if we draw a certain amount of times for whatever we just update it accordingly and We need to do this for the uh, for the text as well. So we got to say so in case the animations uh, text as well So we just got to say set color and we'll say sf color uh, all 255s and the last one is uh, multiplied by alpha we set the position 
and scale. And if you want, uh, you can put these in the parameters right in um, right here because we don't want to have to uh, calculate this stuff if we're not even going to be using it, right? Uh, so we just do this before we draw it. So if we have no text to draw, then we won't calculate it, and therefore it's it speeds up the program. And we need the same for the image. Okay, so then what we're gonna do now is uh, for our, we're gonna go to the splash screen class and uh, splash screen dot cpp and f oh yeah we gotta change this too so we're gonna set set value fade fade dot size minus one get active and set to true and some of you might say okay this is more rigorous this longer code so you might want to do the other method it's really up to you which one whichever one you want to do uh, but we we set that to true and then we got to set the scale as well so for the sake of time I'm going to copy this uh, say get scale and we'll set it to 1.25 okay so we draw this now now you can see that it covers the whole oh sorry I accidentally made it big but if you run your program now if your image is smaller then you will notice that it will cover the whole screen because we changed the scale value uh, so I'm gonna end the tutorial here I hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and bye